Are you struggling with manifesting? You probably didn't know, but you have to start with the basic. Struggling with overthinking and unable to process your thoughts clearly? Moonstone is the crystal for that. Pair it with a very strong crystal such as ruby and you can get success. You need real gold because real gold cleanses, heals, and purifies. The problem is you can never find this kind of crystals all in one bracelet. But now it's here. All those crystals can be found now in a trio bracelet. To find out more, more, visit our website, eatreelove.me. I have big news for you. Big, big, big news. Okay. What is it, Sal? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> the only thing I know is that was the message. There's a big news. <laughs> Let's see what's the big news. Oh, the big news is someone that you trust cannot be trusted. Ay, que horror, Sal. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, someone can't be trusted, but okay, you will find out who this person is, and at the same time, everything will be revealed. Everything, everything done in the dark will come to light. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing it here. It's giving secret is out. Okay, it's like the mask is gonna be taken off. All right, someone here is living a dual life. Like you know, I, I, I again, we don't know yet what this person is, who this person is, but the only thing is from just looking at this right now, it feels like they will out themselves naturally. Mm -hmm. But you had a hunch though, already. You had a hunch, like you knew. Seven of Swords. The sun card. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So let's see here. Capricorn. We got a lot going on. Okay. We have to discuss. Okay. We have to discuss the combustion. Okay. Sun is in the fifth house right now. Ooh, this is the thing. It's going to be revealed. Fifth house is dating. Right? It's officially Taurus season. I remember I do say dear astrology, we look at the sun, where it is, that's it is, in the sky. Okay, as above, so below. Has to be ha happen in the cosmos in order to happen here. So the sun is in one degree Taurus. Okay, well, how important is this for you? So you said that Jupiter is important. I got the yellow sapphire that you gave me. Good. Okay, to attract this romance that you said that I will. Good. However... Sun and Jupiter are too close together. This is already, at this point, it's not Asta, just not just combust. This is like Dagda, it's dead. Oh, it's too close. So it's never auspicious for planets to go close to the sun. And what did Jupiter do? Jupiter is too close. So Jupiter is the karaka for our um, wisdom, you know. The spouse is the karaka for Jupiter. Kids, of course, is Jupiter. Um, this is our knowledge, our luck, our opportunity, you know, it's a karka for the second, the, the fifth, and the ninth house, our luck, our family also. So what's happening here right now, if it's combust, because you have a sun card also, what Jupiter is cannot be seen, unavailable to us for the next two weeks, okay? So... I'm not sure why, again, in other astrology, I believe they call it Kazimi, and this is something that they celebrate. So I don't know, but maybe that's something that you do. But in Sidir Alvedic astrology, what happens here is it's almost, it's a similar, okay, from Parashara, um, similar as debilitation, okay? Just pure logic. A ball of fire and a planet that is not a ball of fire gets near, there's nothing to celebrate. It gets burned. Anything that gets close to the sun gets burnt. What happens to Jupiter and Venus? At this point in time, both are combust. How close to the sun is how bad it is. Terrible, 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 terrible. But during this time is we are being taught to work harder. That's what it is. So we can't always be like, oh, we're all lucky, lucky, lucky. So, of course, this is a downtime of luck. We've got to show in that effort. So, this is when the champions will come out, especially if it's in the fifth house. This is about your business. Yes. This is about your 
um, of course, you're dating, how much they would want to show up into your life. We will see, right? So, Venus, Karaka for relationship, combust also. And it's going to be a while, okay? And here's the thing that people don't know, if you're not familiar, Venus and Sun are enemies. They don't like each other because Venus is a very bright star, brighter than the Sun, really. Um, but... You know, uh, that's why it's a conflict. It's like, son, is I am the king. No. You know, Venus wants to outshine. But so this becomes an issue for the two. Now, sun and Jupiter, they're good with each other, but it's just too close. Conjunct is good. Too close is not good. Okay? So think of it this way. You're in an elevator. Big space in the elevator. Two people come in. And then they just have to be together. So the same thing is in Taurus in the fifth house. We have a big house over here. We have a big elevator, but we're too close. Eh, I don't want to be next to you. I don't want to be next to you. I'm burning. Never good. Okay? So, but of course, for every problem, there is a solution. Okay? So that's why relationship can be suffering. Sun and now in the fifth, of course, it's going to show up who this person is into your life. Okay? You're going to see into that with the sun card. We just started, so... Okay. Secrets are out. Rahu in the third. If someone is lying to you, it would be your sibling. It would be your sibling. Mm -hmm. As I'm seeing here. Now, four of pentacles, kept secret, high priestess. Someone is working in the shadow here. Someone is very secretive. This is your spread. I haven't gone to your person. I know you guys like that spread. So I'm bringing it back. You know, the your side and then their side. And then, of course, the future. High Priestess with the Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Wow. I feel like you're holding on to this relationship even though you know that they're lying to you. Even though you know that they can't be trusted. That's something else. So you're aware that your person might be having an affair, but you'd rather keep yourself silent. Why? Where is Moon, ruler of your seventh house? Moon is in the eighth. Moon is in Leo, five degrees. Secret is going to come out. Affairs, scandals is in the eighth house. Sudden changes. Moon in the eighth is a Marana. Moon dies here. Relationship can suffer. Okay, because it's the ruler of the seventh house. Man, I clicked in this video just to hear more bad news. It's not bad news. It's not bad news. Why? Because we can resolve this, of course. That's why I'm here, right? We'll find a solution. High Priestess with the Four of Wands if there is a hidden affair. Okay? Now, considering that the moon rules your seventh house, then it is very more, it's more important for you, Capricorn, to wear this. This is the moonstone. Sun rules the eighth for you. If there's something hidden, actually, like if you're a person, you find yourself always someone saying, Ruby, strengthen that and nobody. Okay, sun, sun is uh, connected to Ruby. Nobody can keep secrets from you. So this is the miracle trio. Okay, it's made of real gold, of course, so that it purifies, it cleanses, and it heals. So make sure to, I'll tag this in a corner of this video. And at the same time, you get your free, okay? During the time of combustion, it is not an auspicious time. So this is free. This is your kit to cleanse the house, the smudge. And it, it has a selenite with chakra in it to balance the energy. So you put that, okay, on the top of your doorway, okay? This is free. It has crystals also, okay? So make sure you, you know, it gets automatically added to your card, free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And then, of course, <laughs> sorry, don't forget your own mist spray. Uh, okay, this is your mist spray for, uh, of course, for your sign. You choose your sign, okay? You choose your sign, and then you choose the crystal, and I make it for you. It comes with a free love spell, Free shipping in the U.S. Oh, and the crystal that I mix it with, either you choose citrine, rose quartz, or amethyst. Depends what your intention is. It comes also like this. Nesmatana.com. Okay. So now let's go to your person. Okay, let's go to your person. The way I see it as we evolve here is like, what's the use of a reading? Which is, I, I feel like it's unfair. I'm just here. Uh, I'm calling myself out here. Um... What's the use of a reading when you don't give the tools, okay? So every time I do my own prediction for other people, I give them the tools. I give them the solution. And readings, of course, you will see it. You know, it's like, oh, I got the reading, but never manifest. Because I failed. I failed, you guys, to give you the magical tools. Money has a tool, right? You can't just make money. You got to have a work. You got to have a computer, laptop. So I give you the mystical tools. 
okay? So, just in case you want to manifest, you're in the right place. Emperor, okay, this is the Who's Your Daddy card. Daddy's Helm. Five of Swords, the Moon. Your person is very... Oh, I see what the secret is, and I'm going to out them. There's going to be a future reading, so hold your horses here, Capricorn. Emperor, Aries, okay? Five of Swords, Moon, and Six of Swords. Your person is self... Is that self-loathing? They're angry and frustrated with you, and they don't even want to talk about their feelings. Yep. This is a big issue. Why? Because it's a communication. Mercury is the number one planet that ruins, can destroy relationship. It's all about communication, right? If two people are honest and speaking coming from love, and they are very, very honest, and that's for me. If 100% if honesty, we will never have a problem in this relationship. But here, considering your person has grudge, five of swords, okay, with the moon, not like the one in Japan, the grudge, different kind of grudge, six of swords, but they'd rather, you know, have the masculine energy. It's, you know, the toxic masculinity. I feel like this is what it's uh, coming out with the emperor right here. It's like, it's like, no, it's fine. 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 And why don't you tell me if it's not fine? See, this is the reason. And high priestess, knowing you, Capricorn, you're just going to, all right, well, if you say it's fine, it's fine. Ah, yeah. This person wants to be reeled out, wants to be talked out. So they want to be chased. Hermit right here. Uh huh. And they feel alone right now. You see that? Hermit with the four of wands. So from what I'm seeing here is it's complicated. Remember, Venus is combust. Everybody's going through their hardship with their relationship. Okay? You know, for a certain time, it will pass. And this involves the reciprocity. You felt like, no, I was taken for granted. It's, you know, like, I'm not going to talk to themselves. Fine. Hermit is them. They're going to keep themselves silent and you are also going to be keeping yourself silent with the high priestess. So we can call this silence of the lamb. So this is probably a horror story from the grudge and then now is silence of the lambs. Okay, so we're going to have to call um, Anthony Hopkins and then he's going to wear the whole wig and then come out from the TV. Yes, okay, because that's at this point the two of you are hopeless. Yes, because if you guys are an adult, you communicate. Now, you're going to tell me, Sa, I am an adult, but they're acting immature. Got it. But it was still your choice to choose this person. Yes. So why did you choose this person? Because I love them. Then, you accept them for who they are. You can't do silent treatment, and then you still, you say you love them. That doesn't work. That only means, okay, you only love them if they talk to you. You accept them. If that's how they treat you, you accept them. But then, you settle for something less. So now, you're going to ask me, this is treating is triggering. Yeah, it's meant to trigger you because Jupiter is in the fifth. You're supposed to be smarter now, but you're getting there. Okay, let me see the future. I hope you. Did you get the yellow sapphire last time? You're going to be very smart in how you do, how you date. The future for the two of you, since you guys don't want to talk with each other. Eight of Cups, emotionally draining, emotionally tiring. And look at this card. This is about walking away. Mm, that's the future. And the Knight of Pentacles, slowly, Eight of Pentacles, you will see that you have you did try your best judgment and then the rest is in with them, right? So you will still try to tell them Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles that like you want to try to work it out. Now, judgment is here. There's so much pressure on to your person. And I'm not pressuring you that you should fix this. I'm just letting you know. But their days are numbered. If you are the cross watcher, your days are numbered with the Capricorn, Two of Swords with the Tower. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's going to work, okay? Now, here's the reason why it's not going to work. Hear me out. When Mars goes to your fourth house, if you're living in with this person, it's going to become a little bit of a situation. going to be aggression, okay? Mars will go on June 2nd or June 1st, okay? I believe so. It's going to move. This is the last two weeks of May. The last two weeks of May is very challenging. Jupiter and Venus combust, no auspiciousness. Our luck is basically the house wins, you understand me? Okay, meaning we can't win. Okay, so it's going to be about our, our, our effort. When Mars goes to your fourth house, it will aspect. It's called the fourth house aspect of Mars, which can destroy the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yes, days are numbered. Now, this one, I don't have much, so I'm not sure if you're trying to balance this relationship. Remember, I already told you about how important the moonstone is for you for your relationship. And of course, if there's something hidden, which is a ruby, okay? I don't have much of this. It's free shipping in the U.S. And then, of course, you get your kit. Um, so make sure to check it out. Let me just cleanse again for you guys. <sighs> this is a must, especially right now. The energies are trying us. 
Tower and the Two of Swords. TikTok. I'm not sure what's going to happen soon, but I feel like this is going to be one of those times where it's a do or die.